Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Tactics Ogre Reborn walkthrough. Uh, just starting out here in chapter 4. Uh, before I do anything else, I'm going to want to, uh, or we're going to want to check in with the uh, Warren report. Um, so all kinds of new stuff here. Let's open up Deneb's Emporium first. This is good news for collectors of trinkets and treasures. We have had the good fortune of running into a charming young shopkeeper by the name of Deneb, who stocks all manner of rare curiosities. She peddles her wares as she travels the land, so consider yourself blessed if you have it upon her. Uh, I really like Deneb. I'll be trying to get her uh, pretty early on, <clears throat> although I am going to wait until uh, the Palace of the Dead becomes available. Uh, in order to get her special class, and I, I'll, I, I'm actually not sure how I'm supposed to, or how we're supposed to pronounce it. It's W I C C E. Um, but in order to get that, you need to do uh, a few things first, and some of them involve the Palace of the Dead. So, um, so yeah, I'm uh, gonna definitely try to uh, make sure to do some of that uh, first, and then uh, we'll recruit her eventually. But. All right, next up, let's take a look here. Uh, return of the Princess, a ceremony celebrating Princess Versalia's return to power was held at Heim Castle. Bakram officials who served King Dorgalua, including Regent Branton Morn, pledged their allegiance to the Princess. Lord Tartarus also attended as representative of High Priest Sardian, Sar Sardian of the Holy Lodician Empire, reaffirming the alliance between the two nations. Um, <clears throat> next up, uh, Resistance Falters, <laughs> Darkness, which incorporates soldiers of the former Walls to Resistance and the armies of Galgastan, appears to be faltering. Still known as the Resistance, they pledge to fight the Bakram, but following the capture of Fadok Castles, a stalemate has been reached, and some of their number now believe the war to be futile. We will keep a close watch on further developments. Uh, and then the Order of Philaha rises. Uh, the Order of Philaha was uh, divided by uh, infighting following the death of King Dorgalua, with uh, current leader Regent uh, Morn ousting Archerius Maruva. However, Maruva has gained many supporters since his removal, and a great number of followers wish him reinstated when Princess Versalia returns to power. Uh, Rift in the Dark Nights. Uh, this is one that's really important. Uh, you'll want to definitely take a look at this rumor, uh, as this is one of the rumors that's uh, that's important in recruiting Ozma, which we will be doing. Uh, but anyways, alright, so here it says, uh, There have been rumors of discord between the Bakram and Dark Knights, and now it seems there is internal strife in the Dark Knights as well. A Bakram soldier revealed he saw Dark Knight commanders quarreling in Barnissia Castle. Uh, the details of the dispute are not known, but over the past weeks the Dark Knights have been linked to dishonorable acts such as the massacre at Rime and the fall of Fidok Castle. The Dark Knights may be looking for a scape scapegoat on which to lay the blame, but thus far they've remained silent on the matter. All right, and then we've got Port Omish, Den of Thieves. Uh, law and order has suffered due to the lengthy war, but one town has been a haven for lawlessness since the rule of King Dorgalua. Southwest of Katriga Fortress lies Ubea, site of the outlaw's haven called Omish. Omish has a long history as a stopover port for sea traders, but over time it became a haunt for pirates, and now operates under its own laws. It is also home to many criminals and former soldiers seeking anonymity, anonymity as well as refugees who lost their home, our homes in Dorgalua's Great War. Um... All right, yeah, so all kinds of uh, new developments. Uh, eventually here uh, in Port Omish, that's kind of the, uh, there's, a, there's a couple of different things that we'll need to do in order to recruit uh, Azelstan. Uh, I'll end up doing that, but I, I'm honestly, that's not going to be a huge priority for me um, quite yet. Uh, I mean, mostly because I never, I never really used Azelstan. Uh, he's okay, but um, I don't know. I, I guess we'll see. We'll see if... Uh, We'll see how much effort I'm gonna be putting into that. But anyways, I wanted to take a look at the shop Welcome here uh, and see what's new and available. Uh, here, Deneb is uh, is here at the shop. So Deneb travels around the, to the different um, towns, basically. Um, and so there, there's a there's a pretty good or there, there are good, um, I, I guess like posts out there that that'll tell you exactly where she's at and when. 
Um, so you know, if you're if you're trying to find her and you can't find her, uh, I guess just keep that in mind, right? There's 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 a lot of different, um, yeah, like I, I guess just uh, places where you can find where she'll exactly be at. But uh, anyways, let's take a look. Uh, she's got all kinds of interesting stuff here. So she's got Exorcism too. I'm gonna buy a couple of copies of this. Uh, she's got Dispel. I'm actually yeah, I'll just buy ten. Why not? Um, Leaping Monkey, Indirect Ninjutsu Spell. Uh, yeah, I usually I don't really use this stuff, but I'm just gonna buy the stuff anyway, just because I mean she's available right now, and uh, it kind of feels like you know what, might as well. Um, Bedeviling Dance is new, uh, slows multiple nearby enemies, I don't know, not, not, um, I honestly rarely use the Swordmaster, so, uh, you know, most of this stuff isn't gonna be, you know, terribly useful for me, but, um, and then Invigorating Dance, so this is, uh, an indirect war dance spell that weakens multiple nearby enemies, um, you yeah, know, we'll pick up a bunch of copies of that as well, but, uh, Breach seems really good, uh, but Weaken also seems good. So, I don't know, maybe like a, a combination of two different uh, Swordmasters would be really, really good for this combo, right? One could be using Breached, and then the other could be using Weakened. Uh, or or you could have two of uh, the same, uh, or, or two doing the same thing. I don't know. Up to you, but... Um, but you can hire soldiers with her. Uh, let's see, what else is new here? Actually, let me take a look here. We're doing pretty good, I think, on on items. Yeah, Brand of the Sacrifice and Dice. See, th these are the two items that I've been using the most. Haunt's Tomb. I don't know why I didn't have any of those. I was probably, I probably crafted something. Uh, so here's all my orbs. You just, you gotta be really careful with these orbs, um, and, and don't buy them from her until you're ready to recruit her. Uh, here's some Charm of Remissions. I'm gonna buy a couple of these. So these, um, but, but yeah, but, so it says, restore a single zombie unit to its natural state. Um, uh, I may end up doing this, and, and specifically with that, um, God, what is that thing that I've got now? I've got a, uh, a Hydra uh, that I recruited a long time ago uh, to, you know, maybe potentially transfer over uh, to a regular unit. Uh, the reason why I did that is because, you know, Hydras are extremely rare. I think I think there's been three so far, and I've actually recruited all three of them. Uh, but, uh, you know, I thought early on, you know what, uh, I might as well grab grab the one that was, uh, yeah, that was a zombie as well, right? Um, and, and again, I, if I decide to, for instance, auction it, uh, I'll need the charm. I think you need to do the charm of remission first. I think these are only usable in battle, though. I don't think that you can do this outside. I guess I don't remember for sure, but that was uh, that was my impression. Maybe I'll just give that a shot here. And that looks like that's it. Um, no, no, I don't really need to buy anything else here, right? So uh, let's head out. Let's take a look at the uh, the party list. Um, yeah, here's the uh, here's the Hydra. Let me just see here. Go into my, where's my regular item? Oh, you can't. There it is, inventory. Alright, so, charm over mission. Yeah, see, you can't just, like, use it from from your inventory. So, um, you must have to use that in battle. Maybe I'll just throw that on this guy for the time being. Maybe I'll end up using that, but um, we'll see. We'll see about that. But, uh, alright, um... I, yeah, I think I'm gonna take a little break here. Um, I'll, I'll just take a little cut in the video, and then I'll, because I need to d decide what I'm gonna be doing next, uh, and then we'll move on. Okay, so uh, the next, the next thing I wanted to do was hit, just actually head back to the regular shop, right? Uh, Deneb, uh, Deneb shop is a little bit different, so uh, let's take a look at what's, uh, what is available right now. I think I'm, I don't. I'm not seeing anything new. Like, right? I'm pretty sure the Kataras were available already. Uh, Chris, this looks new. Yeah, I, I think these have finally shown up. Uh, Korra, I think, again, same deal. I'm pretty sure those are, are new now. Uh, the Claymore is now buyable. Um, we we got one from a, you know, a storyline battle. I know I upgraded that already, but uh, those are now available. Same with the, the Chakmok. Chakmok. <laughs> that's a very that's a fun weapon name. Uh, 
those are available now. Let's see what else. Uh, War Malls? I don't... I don't remember. I don't remember if those were available. Probably not yet. That probably is new. I don't really... I'm not wild about, you know, the two-hander. Actually, really any of the two-handers, but... I guess whatever. It's available, so... Now we know. Uh, Spirit Blades are available. Ninja Sword is available. Um... Blade, cane blade, spike floor. Yeah, that's available now too. Uh, so yeah, so that um, a lot of new stuff actually. Uh, composite bows. I so I definitely you know we got one of these from uh, a like a like storyline battle. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna end up doing with it or doing anything with it because it's a two hander. I just really don't. Probably won't. Probably won't bother. Well, the stone bow is a. It's crushing damage. That's so interesting. Um, Balder shields are new. Uh, th those were not viable before. Uh, wizard hats are new, uh, finally. Uh, Magus robe. That's been here a while. Brigadine's been here. Nomad bracers. I think these are new now as well. All their legs have been viable, I think, for a while. Or am I am I crazy? And those are available now as well. Ah, uh, dead shot, tornado. I think this stuff is all the same. Avalanche, spirit surge, judgment, wicked ease, heal two, heal three. There we are. That's brand new. Uh, definitely want to grab that. Um, I, I think it, it's probably going to be the next video. It, where I, um, I actually went into, and I should say, I've already been into the front of Wildwood and I actually just popped back out uh, because I had realized that I had forgot so many, um, or, or I forgot to look at the, the stores, right? Um, so it's probably the next video I'll probably mention Heal 3 and I may even be wrong and say that it's not available, but that's because I went in there without actually looking <laughs> like a dope, but uh, that's, uh, that's how we do. Uh, and then, yeah, the rest of this stuff looks like this is stuff that I, I was able to buy from Deneb's shop. So, um, yeah, orbs, that's all the same. Yeah, no new uh, class marks. Actually, we might be done as far as class marks, right? The rest of the class marks, or maybe I should just say, I think all of the viable class marks are now viable. I don't think that there's anything. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, because, like, we don't have Fusilary yet, but I think... I don't think those are viable. I could be wrong. Maybe it's later they actually become viable as well. But um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I did the uh, the Warren report stuff. Already talked to him, right? Yeah, nothing new there. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is it'll be the next probably is it three? It's either three or probably four battles or uh, I'm sorry, videos will be all in the Farampa Wildwood. I'll do the stuff that's new right now. Uh, or at least the stuff that I can do. I think there is a battle, maybe two in there that we won't be able to do yet. Um, we'll, we'll have to we'll have to come back once we get some different items, uh, I believe anyway, and, and, and finish that out. Um, but I also I, I also am going to need to do the Port Omish battle, and so I think I'll do that uh, after the Forampa Wildwood battles, right? So because um, that's kind of optional right now. But I just wanted to. Uh, you know, do a little bit of an update as far as where we're at in terms of story-wise, right, and all of the new stuff that's available uh, now that uh, we're into Chapter 4. Uh, again, also the Union level going up to 28, a really good time, and honestly, my my opinion is to just, uh, the, you know, I think that it's best to just train. Turn everybody onto AI, you know, I don't know, throw a couple of healers in there with you, and you should be just fine um, to just kind of let the game, you know, kind of play itself. Uh, as far as you know getting your levels up. I just I just feel like that's kind of the way to go But uh, anyways, that is going to be it for this one. So as always, I hope the guide was helpful and thank you for watching